Oh, well, folks, wonders never cease. As you can see, I've actually got some wood chips. So that's an unexpected job I was going to do. I'm going to do it now because people are on it like flies on manure. That it's got to be gone in no time. So I thought before I get the kettle on, I'll get this done because I've been waiting for it for too long. So I'll crack on with this. See you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. Get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Right, I'm going to get these spread round. There's only a couple more barrel loads left. I need a cup of though. Where's that kettle? Into the garden mania program. It's been a while and I've fixed myself stirring cup. Get in! Right after that unexpected job that's now done, um, I'll come out, I'll, I'll mention, I'll tell you what I was going to do in the first place. A bit more tidying up. And since I, I've been over a couple of times during the week after work, uh, I did a bit bits and bobs. Which means I now have a massive pile of uh, weeds, weeds <laughs> that have been drying out nicely. So today I'm going to have a fire. Hopefully the rain will stop off. It's getting a bit like windy and uh, murky out there, like, but hopefully it'll pass over and I'll be able to have a fire later on. Um, I'll, the reason I'm going to have a fire now is that a couple of people have already mentioned on, on my Facebook page that you're not allowed to have a fire until August, eh, until October or November. Now, oh, it's raining now. Now, I don't like having a fire then because there is stuff that will start hibernating inside the, the, the pile, you know, and I would hate to start killing off hibernating hedgehogs and what have you. So I just, I'll burn it now. And hopefully the fire engines there won't be coming here later on. No, it'll not take long to burn what's there. Woomph! Gone! That's it. Uh, but like I say, it's a bit not to rain now, so I'm not sure how much filming I'll be able to get outside. I am going to start... Uh, the tyre potatoes are starting to die back now. The, t the potatoes that I just grew in the grass. So, I'll get on with that. And just before I go... Like I say, I was listening to the gardening program there and they mentioned they've got these like news bits on and all that and they mentioned that uh, this is interesting slug and steel, you know the the trail, that slime stuff well scientists have found out that that's the they've, they've actually got a pig's heart and glued it back together, they cut it and they glued it back together and they reckon it's the strongest surgical glue that they've ever ever discovered. So there you go. Don't kill the slugs and snails. It might come in useful one day. Ha! <laughs> anyway, I'm blabbering. This is still far too hot to drink. So I'll let it cool down. And I'll see you later. Right, as you can see, these are starting to die off now. I'll come and tell you about it, yeah, because there's people going past the allotments and that. They want to shout because it's a bit windy. 
Yeah, hi. This one here is two tyres, both with just grass, just grass. That one there is dying off. I'm not expecting much off that one. There's only two tyres. This one's three tyres, and this is the Charlotte, which I'll be getting rid of today. So let's see what happens. Well, not bad, considering I've already had about five out. And look, with them being in just, just grass, clean as a whistle. Nice size, and not a bad little crop, just off one potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. So, I'll get this other one out. Right, so these are the potatoes from the tyres. Not a bad little crop. Considering, like I say, I've already had five about that big off, off it. Only one, one potato in there. And they're all clean as a whistle. Here's the Picasso ones. Same again. Nice and clean. I wasn't expecting too many off this one because, like I say, there was only two, two tyres high. But can't complain with that it's worth worth doing it again I suppose maybe as you putting some good manure and compost and what have you in there as well a little bit feed because all I did was put grass in that was it right what else to do let's find out well as you can see the onions are up now and uh, I started digging over the bit ground the other day, but the rain stopped play, so hopefully I'll get it done. It's trying its best. It's gonna, it is going to rain at some stage today, so I'll get the rest of this done. Shouldn't take too long. Harry Speedy Gonzalez there, crack on, I'm going to uh, get the kettle on. Please hurry up, this will not take long. Thing you should do. 
I'm gonna wait for summer. I'm gonna pick some crops. Cause they taste much better. Well, that's that done. Champion. The kettle should be boiled and there should be a, a brew already made for us, if my calculations are correct. Season a bit. Well, as you can probably hear, it's lashing down outside now, so I'm glad I got them jobs done while it was still fine. It's still not going to put us off having a fire though, because it's that dense. Underneath is going to be dry as a bone still, so at least I'll get something done. Make a little indentation in the pile. Uh, anyway, while I finish me coffee, I'll uh, tell you a little story. Now, you know, uh, the weed killer king, Malcolm. I seen him this morning there. Um, <laughs> and it, there's a little bit of a story. I haven't seen him for months and months. Um, well, he says, what happened was, just after the new year, he had a stroke. And that knocked him back for a, a couple of months, obviously. He had just started getting back his head back together and all that. And being able to walk properly and, and speak and all that, he said. And then uh, he was he went he was gonna go for a little break with his wife, a couple of couple of days away somewhere, Spain or something, I don't know. And he went outside. A bit fresh air, and he broke both of his ankles, <laughs> so he hasn't been having very much luck. That's why there's nothing being planted, uh, obviously, this year. Um, but it, that doesn't mean you know he still uses his weed killer, whether he was had, whether he was bad or not. He's, he's used it ever since he's been there, so it doesn't make any excuse. I did tell him, I did say like. I was talking about my wildlife area and he says well that's been there for years what's the problem with that I've seen loads of wildlife like hedgehogs and stuff because he comes early in the mornings you know and I was thinking you know uh, even he he got a letter off the council he had told me I'd had a stroke and he was he, he'd be struggling this year but he still got a letter and uh, a couple, I got a couple of comments saying it might have been him that um, was complaining. Well, it, it definitely wasn't. Uh, I felt a little bit sorry for the bloke when he was telling us. But uh, he's he's getting better. But like I say, whether he was bad or not, he still uses weed killer. And I told him like, you know, not to put any on mine. In, in, a, in a polite way. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to get some wood, make some kindling, and try and get this fire going. Hopefully. And I'll see you soon. Ah. So as you can see it's tipping down. I was going to show you the little... What I've done is made some... I put some props in. Made a little cave sort of thing. And uh, it's, that's been like that for a while. So it's nice and dry underneath. So I've been chopping some kindling here. And I've, I think I've made a fire that Fred Dibner would be proud of. Like I say, if it wasn't raining, I would show you. So you'll have to just bear with us a sec. Right, I'll just let that wood catch a fire there, and that catches in a bit. Smoking! It didn't take long, like I say, once that dry stuff gets a hold, that's it. Yeah, that's all it is, mostly just dried stuff. A few bits of old broken bits of wood and what have you. I love fires, me!
Well, that's looking arid. You can smell it burn doon now. It's going to take about an hour or so now that the rain stopped. See us in a bit. Right, I'll do this out here where there's a bit spare land. Uh, I'll tell you behind the camera because there's someone in the next garden to there further down there and I don't want to disturb them. Anyway, I was feeling right. This is the carrot challenge carrot. Um, I did say I was going to pull it like the last time on my birthday, but I was having a feel around there. It's starting to lift itself up. So I don't think it'll last for another two weeks, so I'm going to get it out now. Let we go, see what happens. Oh, hey. Oh, well. That's <laughs> great. It's not too bad. I, like I say, I wanted to pull it now because uh, it wasn't, wouldn't have lasted two weeks in the greenhouse. So, there you go, folks. Carrot challenge. I don't think I've won that one. Right, now that fire's died down a bit, I'll be able to show you around. So, I'll see you in a bit. Right, as you know, when I'm standing up here, I've had enough and I'm going to show you around while it's not raining. Have a look at this. A little bit of wood chips down now. And look, I've got a couple of residents to me bug hotel. They do a little bit of a dance. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Yeah, yeah. So they seem to enjoy the, the good old bug hotel. Uh, I put the wood chips all the way around here. I didn't want to go all the way like because I can plant stuff there but that's nice and tidy around here now all the way around the wildlife area that's looking good it's looking good all the crocosmia around here has uh, come up now as well lovely I've had a bit of a tidy up down here so the council can't complain about anything now that's just a bit of wood that needs shifting. Blah blah blah. Have you even tidied round here? Look at that. There's just a few strawberries in there that I need to get dig out. This bit's tidy now. All the way. Next job is to uh, oh here comes the rain. Next job <coughs> sorry about that. Next job is to clear out this bit. I'm gonna have to quickly zoom round here because it is gonna start lashing down in a sec. The potatoes are doing fine, there's a couple that's just dying off. I thought it was blight, but they're just starting to die off. The kale, the cabbages are starting to come to an end now, there's only a couple left. There's still plenty of kale on there. And these kaleettes are starting to thicken up from the bottom. Which is good, everything's good. That's been dug over, I put some winter cabbage in or something in there. These, uh, Climbing beans, the Blue Lake climbers are still climbing. Oh, it's lashing down. Uh, I've had a few of these turnips now. Let's see if there's any other ones ready. Not just yet. But they get to about the size of a golf ball. That's perfect. These are doing okay. I've got a couple of sweet corn off, I'll show you them. But look at this onion. That's massive. That's a normal size onion compared to the stat size next to it. Carry big. These taties are still doing okay. Uh, the fire's gonna smolder like that for the next day or so, I think, which is okay, it'll, it'll not do any harm. And his rose there is blooming away, and so is this calendula. That's nice, right? I've never seen one like that before. But aye, this rose is covered. Absolutely covered. Here's Miguel. 
right the spit and all this has all been there uh, wood chipped all the way around nice and tidy 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 all the way around my seating area where the fire is I'm getting loads of blackberries by the way absolutely loads I'm getting to put it every day starting to have to freeze them now because you know this sunflower is doing okay this sunflower is doing absolutely fantastic that's huge it's got loads of other ones on the other side now have you ever seen out like it before ever the be it's the best sunflower Ooh. I've ever been able to grow not bad there's them taties but you've already seen them like I say clean as a whistle I haven't even I haven't washed them I've just pulled them straight out they're going to get them dirty off my hand uh, this clematis oh hey the wait the rain the clematis in fact that's standing here that's a bit better two seconds folks I just need to things you do eh right the clematis is running it's starting to th uh, grow canny so is the honeysuckle these dahlias have had it well not you know there's a few little ones coming on but they're not going to get massive blooms on now they've already they've had two blooms so I'm, that's quite good I'll get them cut back soon and then stored for over the winter again the uh, sweet peas are starting to die off now as well everything's come to an end look at the size of this man it's huge I can't wait to pull this uh, ugly parsnip challenge parsnip still getting loads of cucumbers thank you for the information about that disease thing a fungus botrys or something luckily it hasn't spread and it's burnt now the rest of the cucumbers are okay and they're still coming on I've had loads of cucumbers off like best best year ever for cucumbers this like for me anyway they're coming on all over the place I cannot keep up uh, I've took I've took the uh, melons out because they were just dead there was never anything going to happen to them this potato in the greenhouse is doing canny but the only thing is it look at that something snapped it unless it was just the weight but it's still growing it's about three foot tall now whoa look at that get the flowers off before they even start there's that garlic now if you some of you already watched Jeff's garden program thing uh, Jeff's allotment on the plot but he was on about these on the garlic bulbits or something bulbuls and the like sort of peanuts crack the shell off crack, let them dry out these are dry now see if I can do it apparently this will grow into a garlic next year I kind of do it with one hand the tomatoes I'm getting punnets worth of tomatoes every day as well so everything's doing canny loads loads and loads I've had to trim back this grapevine a little bit because look at this the, the main stem is back so all the way along to the end here so once it gets to here I'll trim it and then I'll train, train it down and then maybe it's along I don't know yet there's the rain again oh hey right a <clears throat> couple of more things to show you I only had two onions which had the white rot and it wasn't that bad actually all the rest are stored away there's just a few more there hanging there drying out there a couple of them split as well there look at that good enough to show but even better to eat there's a cucumber, there's my challenge carrot, look at the creep, look at this corn man it is ready by the way, uh, milky when you press it 
Well that's the first year ever I've managed to get nearly all the way to the top. Usually the corn's just really patchy, you know. I'm well pleased with that. I've cleaned a couple of the onions up just for a for a laugh. <laughs> just to make it look like a show a show thing. Now that these I was talking to Ray the other day, and this is interesting. There's a difference between the Shirley and bring them two out together. See if you can tell the difference. Right. They're about the same. Same size. What's the difference? Now the Shirley ones, see how the, the petal things are going up. Well for show sure, tomatoes, you don't want that. And that's why, that's the Shirley, and these are the Stoner's Exhibition ones, because if you can see, they're all pointing down. Now that's how they like them in the show. That's what Ray was telling us anyway. Ones like that, Stoner's Exhibition, are perfect for things like that. Whereas the Shirley, are perfect for eating. Mmm, can't wait to get stuck in. Right, it's lashing down now, there's not much else to show you. Well, I'm going to get soaked, I think I'll stay in here for a bit anyway. Thanks for watching folks, thanks for liking, commenting and especially subscribing. Welcome to me new subscribers, I've made quite a few since the last, uh, the last video, in fact the past six months. I've made a hell of a lot more. Uh, welcome and thank you for subscribing, I hope you like it and uh, thank you to the old subscribers as well because uh, like I say, without you guys I wouldn't be doing this right now and I, I definitely wouldn't be standing in this greenhouse right now you know what I mean, so thank you very much um, it's much appreciated and here's to the next one when this rain stops, see you later